I'm Downtown Clown, and I'm going to show you how to paint a mouse. Not a little mouse, we can do that too, but a full face of a mouse. Well, Kathleen, are you ready to get your face painted like a mouse? All right. Again, we're going to get out our brush. Make sure it's nice and dry. Now, for doing a full face, it's a little bit... Ah, you knuckleheads. These kids are all around. When you're painting, too, you're going to get distractions from other kids. Now... You're going to get out and you're going to get some gray for a mouse. Good color to start with. That's a little bit different than the way you're going to do a small one. Hold on. You there! You must hush. <laughs> all right. That's our other little helper. Now, anyway, you get some gray paint. Just take a little dab and you're going to put it like this. You go back into the paint. Another little dab over here. Put a little over here. Up like this. You don't want to do the nose too much. Just a little bit, and you're going to go a little bit up like this. You don't need a whole lot of paint. I'm going to show you what I do. Now, some face painters and clowns will use sponges for this. I don't usually use sponges. I use my thumb. Just make sure that your thumb is clean, and you're just going to spread it around like this. Don't get it too close to the eyes. Remember, it's a child here. You're not making, you know, a blockbuster movie or anything like that, right? You want to spread it around so that the gray blends right into their face. See, it'll smooth right on out. No worries about it. Nice and easy. No worries. Come down this way. See that blends. Now you might need a little bit more. Just dip your thumb in there. Just get a little bit more. Come around the top here. You don't want to get the entire face. Just you know enough that you know to resemble you know a mouse. It's rather the color of the mouse, the little gray. Well, that's pretty good there. It doesn't have to be, you know, like I said, some, some painters will like get really elaborate. I don't like to do that because you want to be able to, the kid to get it off. I'm sure that you don't want to go your whole life looking like a mouse, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's something that's a little tricky. You got between the mouth and the nose, you got a thin little spot. So you're going to have to use your brush for that, but again, you don't want a whole lot of paint, you want just a little bit of paint. You don't want these kids who's going to go just a little bit, do it and just dab it a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy, just like you're painting a mustache on. Just like, oh, there you go, that a girl. And you're going to take your finger or your thumb and just going to dab it a little bit like so. So it just kind of blends in with their skin. See how that blends right on in there? Now don't worry about the nose and that. That's actually pretty good right there. It kind of just changes the color of her face a little bit. Now. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to add the uh, details. So a mouse, obviously, you're going to put a little black nose on your mouse. So you can go into your black, you can use your brush for this. Now you can make it bigger, you can make it small. You just want to put a little nose like this on your mouse. Just a little black nose, curled around like this. You can make it a little bigger, a little smaller, it's up to you. Just enough so it gets across. Then you're going to take your brush and you want your whiskers. Now the whiskers, you want to be nice and smooth. You don't want to put them too close or too far apart. Again, it's pretty easily. You're just going to kind of go like this, the one, go like this, the other one, and down like that for the other one. And you're going to come around this way. You're going to be the other side the same way. You got one. Use all the excess paint for the other one. And then you want to go to the other side like this. Just like so. Now, you want some little mouse ears. Now, obviously, you can't have ears coming out, so you're just going to put like a little loop right up above the top, just like this. Just like that. Kind of gives you the right idea. Just like this. Now, if you want, you can fill in the ears, but pretty much, that's, that's pretty basically like what you want to get. Now, if you want to do a little more details on it, you want a little more details on it? All right. You can fancy it up a little bit. You can get a little bit of white if you want. You might just want to put like just a little line of white coming through the black like this, just to kind of bring it out a little bit. See how that brings it out a little bit? Bring it through like that. Again, not a whole lot of paint. You might have to dip your brush back in and make sure it's nice and sharp. Put it back in. You just put another little one just like so. Just like this. And that's pretty much it. You pretty much got a little mouse face. You can put a lot of time in. If you want to spend like 10, 15 minutes on a kid, you can do the entire face, all of this in gray, and really get detailed on it. That's going to take you a lot of time. It's going to take a lot more time to take it off. You can get fancier with the whiskers. You could also, if you wanted to, you can put, you can paint little teeth that come on the lips and that. But we're not going to get into all that because we want to do this quick and fast so she can get out and get in a jumper or whatever else she's got to do. So is that working for you? 
All right, you're all set.